Hello and welcome to my tutorial in Minecraft in the Tech It main on engines. I'm going to do a little tutorial on uh, engines so people will know how to use them. Let's start first with the redstone engine, which is the easiest to use. You put oh, you put a redstone torch next to it, and it'll work. It doesn't work very well. In tech, it's like barely good, so I don't suggest using it if you're powering anything too powerful. Next, we have the almighty Sterling engine. To run it, all you need is one redstone torch, and you gotta put some coal in there. As you can see, it works a little, it works, actually, it works a lot better in comparison to the redstone engine. Next, we have the combustion engine. Which can be run but on lava or oil. Doesn't matter. Yes, put that in there. I don't think you can put two in. Nope. And then you have to put some water so it won't explode. If it's not cooled with water, it will explode. And it also has to be powered by a redstone signal. And then we get to these engines. We have a steam engine and a magmatic engine. With a steam engine, all you gotta do you can right click it with a water bottle or water bucket but if you do it with a bottle you don't get the bottle so watch out and then you put some coal in there and then it starts working in multiplayer though sometimes these glitch and they stop working so be aware of that and then with the magmatic engine all you need to do take some lava right click the bucket there you go it's starting to work and also, you can it will tell you information about it. Generates MJ using lava, and also it'll break if not wrench to repair. Then the tutorial, the redstone control tab. It has all these settings and how much power it is currently doing out, as well as its maximum power and power stored. So I hope I could help you uh, if you had any problems with engines. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.